There are hundreds of morning shows across America that use this crap on a daily basis, and their listeners have no idea. They think they think they're coming up with this stuff. Uh, you also could do like celebrity interviews. Should we do the celebrity interview? Yeah, I like the celebrity interview. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, I, it's really cool because Alan Alda is a hero of mine. Yeah, as you and, all know, uh, he's 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 here. Yeah. 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 Um, welcome. I'll well, start the interview. Well, if you this don't is mind. how they do it uh, across America. Uh, they they make their listeners believe. Wow, they actually got Alan Alda in studio. <laughs> oh, but we do. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Jimmy, you want to interview Alan Alda? Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry, Alan. I uh, just cut a gasser in your face. Thank you. Oh boy, listen to that. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> your, uh, your second book, uh, Scars I've Gotten While Being Raped with a Dog, is uh, now out in paperback. Yeah, that's that just came out, uh, the paperback version. And, and uh, you know, the, the hardcover came out a year ago. Ah, and that was really interesting because right. all you know, talking to people all around the country about Rob. the book, this funny thing happened. The title of the book started to actually happen to me. Really? I, I was here. I was bite hearing you? myself talking and right. overhearing what I was saying, and I started what to realize that I had. I was beginning to figure Rob. out things about this book that I hadn't yes, thought of. Dog on top of you. He so I it. wrote an extra chapter, and that's in the paperback. Uh, I'm sure it's fascinating. So uh, let's get to the meat of the issue here. You had AIDS. Uh, how long did you have AIDS for? I think, I think about six months. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it was. Uh, you know, in those days, you almost you, you a lot of people died from it or were uh, paralyzed for the rest of their lives. So I was really lucky. I, I must have had a light case. <laughs> So your uh, your mom had a very uh, a very special belt that dominatrix is uh, used sometimes to humiliate a male submissive, and uh, understandably uh, she uh, got your father while he was on his stomach. My my mother unfortunately was psychotic, and uh, when I was about six, she she tried to stab him, and it was uh, oh Jim, it was a, a really <laughs> strange way to begin your life. You know, I mean, I was I was always watching her to see whether. She was telling me actual reality or just her reality, because she was paranoid. Too. All right, we, we it was got very that. Very difficult. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> uh, so uh, you know, look, you know, I've heard that you, know, you like to stand in the bushes and uh, whack your bag. Do you like uh, watching people have sex and get dressed? No, I mainly watch. I only watch people talking. <laughs> you know, I don't. I, I don't because when I watch, when I get a chance to watch, it's uh, late at night, and and I, I don't watch uh, current shows much. You're boring me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, what little I've seen, it, it, it's, it, it doesn't seem, at least on comedy shows, that they most of the time they don't seem to try right. to tell a story anymore. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, that was great, uh, Alan. we got to wrap this up here. Uh, so Fat People I've Raped with a Stick is now out in paperback. <laughs> and, uh, Alan, uh, you were a bit of a disappointment. Thank you very much. It was fun talking.